Sometimes we might like a downpipe that's not on this list, like for instance 125 diameter, or we might like a rectangular downpipe. So what do we do in these instances? We enter our roof details as before, whatever the roof is and whatever the intensity is. Um, yeah, that's true, Brisbane. Calculate that. That gives us our roof flow. Okay, now we move down to here, um, where it says calculate gutter sizes using any downpipe size. We wanted to try out what 125 diameter did. Press the calculate. And this is the results. That downpipe can handle this much of roof catchment area. We need 3.9, which rounded up to 4, um, which gives the catchment area per downpipe of slightly less than that because it's a slightly bigger downpipe than that, or a bigger number. This is the uh, gutter, matching gutter area that goes with it. We can always go larger, but not smaller. Suggested size, so that just gives you an idea of what it's going to look like in size. Uh, if you wanted a semicircular gutter, it would be that diameter. All right, now um, rectangular. What if we wanted a rectangular? Side one, side two. Press calculate. Same thing. That's the catchment area for each one of those. Number required this time is nine. Uh, the gutter area that's associated with that flow is that, and that gives you an idea of the gutter size, etc. All right, now if we uh, want to see what that <coughs> gutter looks like, or what a standard what um, standard gutter would suit, select our state where the job is, select our manufacturer. Ah. We've got to select a downpipe first. Well, that makes sense. You need to know the downpipe before you can work out the gutter size because the, uh, the flow in the downpipe is similar or equal to the flow in the gutter because when a gutter gets full, it needs a downpipe, remember? So we select that one. The optional gutter, let's come up with this one. This one um, is a suitable gutter which has appeared here. Now we can generate our results and we can see that the gutter has appeared there, our downpipe has appeared there and everything else is as per the first video. Next we'll look at the um, choosing a gutter size first and working back.